We turn next to our cover story tonight and our I-Team investigation. Journalist Katie Legrone spent months tracking down the financial records showing how much Florida spent to send state highway patrol troopers to the Texas border. Well, the receipts are in, and as Katie uncovered, the cost goes far beyond food and gas. Today, we're here to announce that the state of Florida is answering the call. Three years after Governor Ron DeSantis first announced he was sending dozens of troopers from Florida's Highway Patrol to Texas to help combat illegal immigration into the U.S., Financial records we obtained through a public records request provides a glance at how much that deployment to the Lone Star State is costing the Sunshine State. During a 10-month period between July of 2023 through April of 2024, records show Florida's Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles spent at least $13.5 million on expenses including gas, vehicle maintenance, airfare, and overtime. The morale is great. People believe in the mission. Earlier this year, during a press conference announcing another 76 troopers were headed to the Southwest, the governor touted his Texas operation and Florida's long-term commitment there. We're gonna continue to be in this fight until the problem is solved and we need to have the problem solved. Americans' security depends on it, American lives depend on it. And state finance records show Florida is racking up a hefty bill for it. According to expense reports, during a nine-month period between July of 2023 and March of this year, Florida Highway Patrol spent more than $12.5 million deploying troopers to the Texas border, nearly 80 grand for general expenses, including thousands of dollars just in dry cleaning and uniforms. Nearly three quarters of a million dollars went to Florida's Texas-bound fleet for fuel, vehicle maintenance, and some new wheels. Records show at least two new SUVs and a truck were purchased for the mission, each equipped with more than 10 grand in upgrades from special lighting to gun racks and a prisoner partition. Another nearly $900,000 was logged as general travel, meals, airfare, and lodging. Although the hotel stays included in the data the department provided us appear to be limited. But the single largest expense over that period, personnel. Just under $11 million, not including troopers' regular salaries. In fact, a monthly glance at overtime shows Operation Lone Star is offering Florida Highway Patrol troopers whose average salary is around 50 grand per year a lucrative opportunity with multiple troopers sent to Texas earning more than 10 grand per month just in OT. Records show one trooper netted 26 grand in overtime pay for 503 hours just in February, which means the trooper worked more than 17 hours each day of the month. We reached out to the department for clarity on this, but have yet to hear back. There are some incentives there, but you also have to realize the deployments like this rip our troopers away from their homes and families. Paul Novak is a South Florida attorney and member of Florida Highway Patrol's Advisory Council. For months, he's been writing commentaries about the state's shortage of highway patrol troopers and the need to pay them more. We have far too few troopers and those numbers are not going up. There's a hiring freeze in effect. The next academy class has been canceled and we're losing troopers by attrition because they're going to better paid agencies. So is it a responsible use of funding to send FHP and other agents from other agencies to Texas versus filling these positions right here at home, positions that you say are critical right now? I think that if our politicians make a political decision to deploy troopers off the highway, they need to make a budget decision to pay for it. They need to make a budget decision to adequately staff for it, which means a lot more troopers than we have now. According to Florida's Division of Emergency Management, currently 50 Florida Highway Patrol troopers remain on the ground in Texas. Since last year, when FHP sent its first squad of troopers to the border, they've made contact with more than 153,000 illegal immigrants and assisted with more than 3,000 arrests, according to a department spokesperson. What has been happening in Texas has been effective. You've seen the numbers go down, uh, and that's really because you have Texas putting forth huge effort and then all these other states coming by. Including Florida, spending millions to be a part of it.
These numbers don't include costs incurred by other Florida agencies that have also deployed resources to Texas. A press release last year stated Florida would be eligible for some FEMA reimbursements, but we have not heard back on whether the state has applied for or received any of that money. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you.